we're doing our Facebook Live today, and I'm just waiting for people to join us. I'm going to be a few minutes early, but that's okay. be watching this on Facebook after the fact, so I appreciate your patience as I wait for people to log in. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm enjoying a vegan Caesar with no alcohol. I see two people have logged in. Hello, two people. I'd love uh, if you are watching and you can chat and say hello, that would be awesome, and then I can uh, see who's watching. I see, hello Joyce, I see you there. Thanks for saying hi, thanks for watching. It's very cool to see people chatting in. It's uh, pretty interesting to see who's watching, so I appreciate you guys joining. And we have uh, a bunch of people joining, um, but I might wait a few seconds here to do it. So I see my friend Connie's there. I'm glad you made it home in time. And of course, Frank is watching. Today we're making um, a pretty easy recipe. Um, so uh, it should be really good, easy to make, mm -hmm. something you can make anytime. So. And I noticed people commenting on my hair. My my uh, boyfriend did my hair the other day. We're getting bored, I guess. So we did some hair dyeing there. But we do have a bunch of people now joining. So I might start fairly soon. I'll just finish my virgin vegan Caesar. I hope wherever you guys are watching from, it's nice and sunny. It's been kind of gray here the last couple of days, so it's uh, it's hard to stay inside, but we've been getting out and uh, walking anyway, so it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this recipe I'm really excited about because it's kind of a classic recipe, and I think people will really like it. Um, it's also super cheap to make, um, and you can make it out of uh, usually stuff that we have in our cupboard, but most people would have in their cupboard. So today we're going to be making um, vegan mac and cheese with a little bit of bacon crumble. So this recipe I had from an inspiration from uh, the Engine 2 cookbook, which is by Rip Esselstein. He's a doctor in the States, um, and his father is also a doctor, and they do a lot of research on uh, reversing heart disease with a plant-based diet. So this recipe um, is, is actually pretty healthy for you, so it's pretty awesome. So again, we're making vegan mac and cheese with some bacon crumble. So the first thing we're going to do is make our bacon crumble. And for that, I'm going to use tofu. So I'm going to, I actually bought a contraption so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So we're going to try this out. So with the tofu, um, if you watched the uh, egg salad recipe, again, we're just using extra firm tofu and you want to crumble it as small as you possibly can. Hope you guys can see that. So this is meant to be sort of like a bacon bit crumble. So that's your extra firm tofu. And I'm this has been sitting in the fridge for a couple of days. It's already been drained, so it's pretty dry. If you want to um, press your tofu, if you think, if you remember it and you think mm -hmm. of it, if you press the tofu, it'll just be a lot firmer. And what that will help with is to make uh, it a little bit crispy, like a crispy sort of bacon crumble. So this is the consistency that you want. So really small. I'm just going to rinse my hands. And what we're going to do is have a pan. So I'm going to use a bit of oil. If you have a good pan, you don't have to use oil. And we're just going to... I actually think I might have too many crumbles. So maybe we'll just do half of this. So 
obviously use a bigger pan and you can get all of it in one go. So the um, marinade for this is going to be um, one that you can use for anything that you want to make bacony. So this originally came from a recipe I found online where you can make um, bacon strips out of rice paper. So those clear wraps that you have like fresh rolls and you can actually make bacon strips out of those which is really cool. I should do that. So this um, is going to have a little bit of maple syrup for your sweetness. It's going to have something called liquid smoke. So this I got um, at No Frills and I think I've seen it at pretty much every grocery store and it's only about three or four dollars a bottle and we've had this bottle forever so. And then the other thing you're going to need for this recipe is some tamari. You can also use soy sauce or liquid aminos, but I find tamari is just has so much more flavor. So if you can get yourself a bottle of tamari, you're gonna I would get that. So we're gonna turn this pan on, and it might get I'm not good with my audio yet, so if it gets a little bit loud with the cooking, um, I apologize in advance. So we have I'm gonna start with a teaspoon of maple syrup and a teaspoon of the tamari, and then you can adjust as you want. Obviously you don't need it to be too sweet, but you want to have that sort of sweet flavor for your, your fake bacon. And then we have our, I'm going to do one teaspoon of tamari. And then, so for the liquid smoke, it comes out in like little drops, so you only want to do maybe like two, it's pretty potent, and then you can adjust um, whatever you like after that. So maybe two, three tiny little shakes. And try as hard as you can not to drip maple syrup all over yourself or you'll be very sicky. So we have our pot going here. So we're just going to mix it up and um, basically we're going to cook this down while we cook the rest of the meal and get it as crispy as you want. So we've already got that smoky, savory sort of bacon flavor. So you can just cook this to your level of crispiness. And I'm actually going to add, I really like black pepper, so I'm going to add black pepper. And I'm just going to let that go. We're just going to let it do its thing. So the next thing that we're going to make is the vegan mac and cheese. So there are store-bought box mac and cheeses. I see Mike saying hi. Mike K from England is watching. Thank you. Um, so you can get box mac and cheese that's vegan. You can make vegan mac and cheese with potatoes and carrots only. You can add cashews for creaminess. Um, there's lots of ways, but this recipe that I found recently um, is like my favorite so far, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So the Engine 2 original recipe is for cheesy chickpeas, so what you would do is make this sauce, and then you would add the chickpeas in and then serve it on, say, some brown rice or something like that. So what I did is just added a little bit of extra flour to the recipe to get it nice and thick, and then it worked perfectly as a mac and cheese sauce. And you can hear, I wish you could smell this cooking, but you can hear it cooking. Our bacon crumble. Right. So this mac and cheese is the easiest mac and cheese you're probably ever going to make. So the main ingredient, the first thing you want is the liquid from a can of chickpeas. So let's see if I can find some chickpeas. So you can get these cans of chickpeas for 89 cents at the store um, and what you're going to do is drain the water out of it and keep it and then you can use the chickpeas for whatever you want, put it on a salad, put it in some other dish. Um, this, the chickpeas that went with this water actually went into a homemade hummus um, but this is what's left. This stuff is amazing. If you look up, uh, this is called aquafaba and if you look up aquafaba vegan recipes on Google you will get a million hits. You can make desserts out of it. You can um, put it on your roast potatoes to make them crispy. There's a million things you can do. So we're going to put that in there. All of it. And I'm going to put this on 
probably like medium and then if you get lazy stirring it you can turn it up to high but just be careful so that's gonna go in there we're gonna get our tamari out again so again you can use liquid aminos you can use soy sauce but honestly please gift yourself a bottle of tamari you will not regret it so it's only two teaspoons of the tamari That goes right in there. Um, so for anyone new joining, we're making vegan mac and cheese with bacon crumble. We've got our bacon crumble cooking right here, and now we're doing our mac and cheese sauce. So you've got your chickpea water, you've got your two teaspoons of tamari, not tablespoons. And then um, the other main ingredient is nutritional yeast, which I've probably already talked about in other videos, but this stuff is also amazing. You need definitely need to buy some nutritional yeast and some tamari. So we're going to use a whole half a cup. Um, now in one of my previous videos I mentioned that nutritional yeast will actually thicken sauces but we're also putting flour in this too. So you want half a cup of nutritional yeast. So that goes right in there. I'm usually pretty tidy and my counter is a mess right now. So we've got our chickpea water, we've got tamari, nutritional yeast, and now we're going to put in two tablespoons of flour, and I've tried this with normal flour, whole wheat flour, bread flour, it seems to work. Um, basically if you can uh, whisk it really well, you're going to be fine. So that go all goes in there. And I've also never had it go like chunky on me, so it should work just fine. And I'm going to... Oh. Okay, so let's move our camera here so you can see. So I'm actually going to turn the heat up on this. My oven's a little slow. And this is getting nice and crispy. But I can tell already that the bacon flavor is sort of, uh, the smell of it is cooking off. So again, as you're cooking it, you can adjust the flavor. You can add more smoke sauce or the liquid smoke. You can add more soy sauce, whatever you want. So we're just going to start whisking this. I hope you guys can see. But all the flour already is whisked out. It's not uh, it's not lumpy at all. So it, it works pretty well. I'm going to turn those way down. And we're just going to keep whisking. You can let it sit for a little bit. Um, it won't burn too fast. So again, just watch your heat. And this stuff is good. The other thing that I'm going to add uh, as a sort of secret ingredient, which I also talk about a lot, is turmeric. So this will give it like an orangey uh, mac and cheese look and then you also get the benefit of the turmeric. And then we're going to add a bit of black pepper as well. And I think our bacon crumbles look pretty crispy. I like them very crispy. So we're going to set those aside and I'll taste it when it's not going to burn me. Basically, you're going to whisk this until it thickens up, and it will thicken up into like a very thick mac and cheese sauce. So the original recipe, again, is from a book called Engine 2, The Engine 2 Diet. Um, and to talk about uh, Rip Esselstein, so he's a doctor, and I believe it was in New York City. They did, um, I believe he was a firefighter. I'm probably getting this story completely wrong. Um, and they, I watched um, a documentary and they were doing uh, medical tests on a lot of firefighters in New York. Um, and they were able to help people's chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, everything um, was greatly improved for these firefighters in just two weeks. They made them all this plant-based food. Um, so if you want to check it out, it's really awesome. You look up Rip Esselstein um, and the Engine 2 cookbook or the Engine 2 diet. Actually, if, I think my friends Dina 
and Anna Marie are online. They know a lot about um, Whole Foods. They might know about Rip Esselstyn as well. So we're getting pretty thick here. It's not bad. And it's only taken us a few minutes. I did turn the heat up just past medium because uh, I didn't want it to take forever. So it is, it's getting really nice and thick now. So I like to get it really nice and thick so that I can um, mix the mac the macaroni right in with it. Oh, Dina is saying that, oh, Rip Esselstein is the firefighter and his dad is the doctor that is doing a lot of uh, research and work with, I think it's people with heart disease. All right, guys, I'm going to show you this. This is really amazing. So let's see if you can see it. It's getting really nice and super thick and it has, it's not quite that like neon orange of mac and cheese, but do you really want to eat food that color? I don't know. So that is a very thick sauce. And then what we're going to do is add our pre-cooked noodles here. And we'll see what it looks like all stirred up. You can turn your heat off now. And you can see as I stir it how gooey and sticky it is. You can see that it's str even stringing up a little bit. So this stuff is amazing. I really love this recipe. So you have that. And then we're actually going to, this is where it kind of gets not, maybe not so healthy, but we're gonna be adding some cheese shreds. So I got this new product, Nabati cheese shreds from a place called Coven in Hamilton. And um, they're actually really good. You can also get Daya cheese. Um, there's tons of different block cheese. You can just shred it up. And so we're gonna add a bit of this just for some extra gooiness. So, you know, vegan cheese is really good. Some stuff is not that good, um, but usually you can find, this stuff melts pretty good in here. It won't get, uh, you know, liquefied like cow's milk cheese might, but, so we have all that there. You can see how sticky and gooey it is. I love it. So then, it also makes a sticky, kind of gross noise, but, so, there we have that. So you can see, it's all shiny. Then we're gonna add our bacon crumble. And then if you wanna get really fancy, you can add some green onion, just like that. So, how does that look? That looks pretty mac and cheesy to me. So, like I said, this recipe, I can't stop looking at this. This looks picture perfect. So that recipe is super cheap. You can use the chickpeas for hummus and something else. You use the chickpea water for your mac and cheese. You've got pasta, which is very cheap. Tofu is a very cheap source of protein. Even the pasta has protein in it. Um, and then you've got your turmeric and you've got all your um, a pretty healthy meal here. So let me give it a go. I don't even, I actually my, I wish I had my phone, but I'm using my phone to film. Otherwise I would take a picture of this. So somebody take a screenshot and send this to me for my Instagram. So I'm going to dig right in. So I've used Scooby-Doo noodles, but you can use pretty much any noodle you want. Um, but there you go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The sauce is so savory and it has a cheesy flavor from the nutritional yeast. And then the cheese shreds I put in are just like over the top. And then you have your bacon crumble. And the bacon crumble you can use on salad, put it on soup, whatever you want. So again, guys, thank you so much for joining. This is a really short one, but I really appreciate everyone that came to watch. And I would also really appreciate if you could go over to my YouTube channel. I'll post the link for this video. And I would love some subscribers on my YouTube as well. And if you don't have YouTube, we've got Facebook and Instagram. So that's the Plant Life Canada. 
and this was the Engine 2 Cheesy Chickpeas, but made into mac and cheese with bacon crumble. So thanks very much guys, stay safe wherever you are, stay healthy, um, and I love the support and I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna keep eating my mac and cheese. Thank you very much guys. Mm. It's so good. It's very good. Bye now. Have a good day.